Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's about midday and June 9th out here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. We're going to fish Barton Pond, one of my uh, favorite little spots. And we're going to mostly focus on the beetle spinner. Cheapest go to lure on the planet, about $1.60, $1.70 a piece. And always recommend the 1 8 ounce and then put a little grub tail on about an inch long, black and blue or green pumpkin. And um, show you guys some techniques and uh, try to keep it real simple. Let's go get some fish. Maddie GTV. Check it out, guys. want to give a shout out to my girl Whitney I'm gonna use her setup today she's got a medium light Shimano Claris 6.6 eight pound braid 20 pound floral so what I like to do for the beetle spinner is use this pieces of your old Cinco's and then tear off about an inch inch and a half about that and what you want to do is on the beetle spinners you want to make sure the hook is able to be exposed and picked up see that's a little bit too far back right there and we're gonna take this piece off green pumpkin works just as good but I think black and blue with the Sun being out nice big fat chunk of this and then push it back and then this is probably okay we're gonna take a little bit more off just like that you want it really close to the hook right there otherwise you're not gonna get those bigger panfish I'll just kind of do a demonstration. The 1 8 ounce is like, I think the preferred, especially on the river, and it just drops not too fast, doesn't get hung up that much. And it's just a good overall lure. I use this lure in Florida as well, down for snook and peacock bass and Oscars, and just catching a variety of fish. I'm just gonna float down, let the current take us. And like I said, we're gonna hit some spots and uh, Show you guys how to catch fish on this really cheap, simple lure. See y'all in a minute. Black and blue just seems to work better when it's murky. This water is pretty murky, tinged. There, oop, just missed one. Look at that, just let it sit at the bottom. Man, another big one. Got some color on this guy. This right, another eight. And that upper lip, that's where you want it. Uh, pretty beetle spinner, do your thing. That's five. There's gonna be another one right off that little ledge. Nope, oh, another one. Look at that. I think that's something different. Maybe a small bass. No, oh, another gill. Hybrid bluegill. Maybe a little smaller, huh? Number six. Try out this little area too. The way I kind of explain fishing to a lot of people is just presentation and location. How you present that lure and then you gotta be in the right spot to do it at. Another, another nice one, man. That's a regular bluegill. I, th I think the good thing about this lure is it kind of weeds out the most of the smaller ones. And then when they get the hook, you got to kind of twist it and push it back a little. There you go. Beautiful. I would call this the beetle spinner bluegill fishing video or something. I don't know. That's number seven, I believe, or eight. We'll get a couple more. Look at this. I just dropped it right back in. Especially on like a lighter line, lighter setup. Scar, fungus, I don't know what that is. We're gonna put my hand on the other side. And try not to touch that. So push that back and pop that out. There you go. Just using a piece of a Cinco. Perfect cast, perfect cast. Slow it down, a little pop, and just missed it. Oh, came back for it. You gotta have that Cinco close to where the hook is, otherwise they're gonna have a hard time kind of latching onto it. Another one. This giant bluegill on the seven, eight inch range. 
doesn't like that, right? He has like cooking up bluegill. That's the way to go. Bluegill spinner, baby, all day. And what's nice about the yum swim dingers and the yum cinco's, they usually have salt in them. There we go. There we go. Nice one. Especially in a, like an ultralight or a medium light. This is going to be fun all day. Eh, you're a little bit smaller, but you're still big. And you go to a healthy looking lake and man, you got dinner for everybody. Right? He's like, let me, let me go. Okay. All right. See how the this is too far back. They usually give you those when you get the beetle spinner. You want to tear that little piece off. In my case, buy a little chunk. <laughs> Don't swallow that. Don't eat that. Another thing is, is there's a little clip right here. Pinch that tight because if you get a bigger fish on, it's generally going to separate it. So if you get a bass or a pike to hit it, you're going to probably lose it. Another one, a smaller one. At least it feels like it's smaller. But it's still a good size. He's probably about a six and a half. Well, we want a bigger one. All day, all day. So go slow, like there. Be a little bit slower on that one. This one feels decent. He's kind of turning me a little bit. Oh, tough guy, huh? Yeah, there we go. About seven and a half. Let's measure you up for the heck of it. Well, I'm going to keep the nose. Look at that. Seven, three quarters. Nice. 